We're going home to see everyone else now. We can do it. He is a professional. Nothing new there. It's all about the ventilation, isn't it? Hello everyone, welcome back to another week and good morning. It is Monday, oh I have a little sit down, Monday the 2nd of July, uh, it's 20 past 7 a.m. And today Simon and I are going off to shoot something really fun and quite exciting. However, we can't actually share it with you guys because it's top secret. Darn it. Uh, I think I'm going to be able to share some stuff with you August, early September, I believe, um, for when this comes out. But I am going to be vlogging today, just not vlogging in this weekly vlog. I'm going to vlog with you guys this morning and show you what I'm wearing. Um, but then once we leave the house, I'm going to have to pick you guys back up when we get back to the house for this weekly vlog. Uh, so yeah, it's all very exciting, but I've actually just got to decide what to wear because we're still in the middle of a massive London heat wave. It's crazy hot outside, even already now, quarter past seven, it's like 25 degrees and it's only going to get hotter. So I need to decide on something to wear because we're going to be walking around London a lot today. So I need something breathable under the armpits, comfortable, airy. It's all about the ventilation, isn't it? Right, I am ready. Sorry, picking bits of raw bar out my teeth. Lovely. I've gone for my Cezanne jumpsuit because it's light. I'm slightly covered to protect my skin from the sun. It's airy, it's breathable, breathable. Yes, the only thing is it's obviously white. So I'm gonna have to be very, very careful today. Um, now accessories wise, Ray-Ban rounds. I've got all those little huggies in, which I showed you guys last week. Uh, Monica Venada Mini Marie pendant on the short Miss Oma chain, Cartier watch. Um, Mansour Gabrielle bucket bag, just cause this is quite roomy and we've got some cameras to take with us. And then my Kurt Geiger new sandals because these have officially been broken in now so they're very very comfortable although my feet are going to be filthy by the end of the day walking around in the city so that's it that is today's ensemble for going to do this very exciting collaboration i can't tell you about oh, oh is that what you're wearing <laughs> mr shmee <laughs> that's who you look like mr shmee Back home, look, in the slouchy linen dressing <laughs> gown. I've got nothing on underneath. Oh, so. yeah, keep it closed then. Yeah. Don't want to scare people off. No. <coughs> Too hot for real clothes, though, isn't it? Oh, man, today was hot. Today was very hot. Very, very hot. Very cool, though, isn't it? Yeah. Really okay. enjoyed today. Being tourists again, wasn't it? It was just like being a tourist in our own city. I oh, know, it's very, very cool. I'm really excited to see the outcome. I am. I can't wait to share it with everybody. Yeah, not yet though. No, not yet. Soon. Don't ruin it. No, Don't soon. spoil it. Exciting <laughs> stuff though. It's going to be very, very cool. Yes. Are you excited? Yeah, but my feet hurt at the moment. And I feel really tired, but big love island tonight. Biggie. Big. Love Island. I'm going to lose my shizzle. It's all going to kick off dramas. Boris, stop wiping your ass on the rug. Football first, Zoe. Huh? Football first. Uh, this not, looks a bit boring. Yeah, not England, is it? Game. England tomorrow. Woo woo. Woo! <coughs> we could win this, you know. Don't get excited, don't get over excited I'm yet. I'm trying not, but I actually dare think about what will happen to this country if we actually won a World Cup. Meltdown. It would actually be, I'd probably be scared for my life. <laughs> and on that note, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Night or bye. <laughs> Night or bye, which one? Well, both. Night, Night and, and bye. bye. Night and bye. Good morning everyone. It is Wednesday. Yesterday was a horrible day. Ending with a slightly better bit of the day. 
So basically yesterday we got up, um, took the babies for a walk first thing in the morning while it's much cooler in the woods, which we do every day. And Bella must have picked something up that she shouldn't have in the woods because she goes off and like chases squirrels and all that kind of stuff. She must have eaten something that she shouldn't have. Um, and then around 10 o'clock she basically collapsed on the floor um, and she tried standing up. She was really wobbly, um, she kept flinching any time you went near her. She was just, and she had her tongue stuck out, it was kind of like when they're under anaesthetic and they're just kind of coming around from their surgery. She was a bit like, oh. Um, so we kind of watched her for about an hour, hour and a half, um, and then decided that we were gonna take her to the vets because it was really out of character for her. Um, and yeah, it was not a nice day. She was really, really poorly, um, and we actually had to leave her in the vets overnight, which she's never, ever had a night away from home on her own in the vets, ever. So yeah, that was not nice. She was put on a drip. Um, it was just a day of tears, <laughs> basically. Um, we spoke to the vet around four o'clock and they said she was on the drip, um, doing better. They also thought she might have had a urinary tract infection, so I think they were gonna do some tests, but she had blood tests, they all came back fine. Um, so it was just a case that she'd probably just eaten something a bit dodgy, didn't agree with her. Um, but obviously with small breeds, they can dehydrate very quickly when they're sick. So we just thought it was better to be safe rather than sorry to leave her in the vets on this IV, this drip, just so that she can get rehydrated because she wasn't, we have water all around the house and she was not, she just wouldn't touch it. She wouldn't even open her mouth. Um, so we, we obviously couldn't keep her hydrated. So that's what the vets have done. <sighs> so yes, that was that. However, after we spoke to the vets in the afternoon, things kind of perked up a bit. We kind of knew she was doing better. And then of course we had the football on in the evening, which was, well, that was a tense time. <laughs> and it was probably better that Bella wasn't here because there was a lot of screaming and shouting from someone. Um, but luckily it all ended on a positive note. And then we got to watch Love Island. Um, now, as you can see, the baby's bed is up here because we didn't have Bella last night. We just wanted everyone in here with us. Normally they sleep down in the kitchen. So yeah, we had everyone up here with us and it's now maybe about quarter to eight. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. Um, so I've just got dressed and we're going to pick up the little squib. Um, so we're heading off to the vets. I've literally just thrown some clothes on. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited to see my little Bella face. We've missed her so much because she sleeps in bed with us. So last night the bed felt very, very empty with just Bean taking up most of the space. So this is the music on the way to the vet. That's good on both levels. Purple weather is coming out. Right, so we've just been into the vets. Emotional as always. I swear, them vets don't ever see me when I'm not crying. Never ever. So, Bella's fine. She's perked up massively. I just took a little picture of her. I'll try and insert it, or Simon will insert it here, won't you? <laughs> when she had a little like blue bandage on her arm, which is where she had the, uh, <coughs> the IV drip. So, we basically just rocked up this morning. The vets hadn't actually called us to say it was okay to pick her up. Um, we just got impatient and was like, we just want to pick her up. So uh, they just need a little bit of time to just fully check her out and take off this bandage thing because it's almost like a mini cast. So we're just going to go and get a coffee and then we're going to go back and then we can take her home. But she was so Ooh. much better, wasn't she? Yeah, like normal. fluttering about like what she normally does. So yeah. Very very affectionate. Very affectionate. They always love Bella when they have her in there. So yeah much better but you guys will see her in half an hour well not half an hour but you know what I mean <laughs> Bella's going home how you feel Bella oh dear she's very sorry for herself we're going home to see everyone else now yay hi Bella Are you happy to be home come here then come here <laughs> what are you doing 
Queen! Bella! Come here! Come here! Room! <laughs> Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Come here, Bella! Be oh, there's rustling happening in the kitchen. What's going on down there? Come on, little furry feet. Oh, look at that. Oh, you've got some bald spots, haven't you? Got one, oh, one here, and then one, is it here? Yeah. Or over there? Right there. One here. Oh, it's sad, isn't it? It's so sad, Bella. Happy to be home, though, eh? Yeah, oh, we missed you so much. Oh, dear. Are you happy to be home, Baba? Go on and go. Yeah, go on then, go play in the garden. Yeah! She said, I'm waiting for some treats. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Right, so yesterday, obviously, we brought Bella home. She's been scamping around. She was still a bit off yesterday, wasn't she? Yeah. Still a little bit, not 100%. But this morning, oh my gosh, we have seen the old Bella return in full form. <laughs> She's been making noise. She's been charging around. You want to come and say hi to everyone, Babs? Oh, okay. Censor that. Thank Sweet you. Too, Unnecessary. Too true, Dad. Yeah, off you go then. Uh, A pair of you, because you make too much noise. Um, yeah, so after that, Bella just kind of had the day to chillax. So I cracked on with some work. I had the longest call, which is good with uh, my web designer because my new site has almost finished being designed. So this has been like a work in progress for about three months, um, but it's almost finished being designed. And then Phil from Pit Dig is gonna like put it all together and stuff. So we had a few bits and bobs to go through yesterday. So that was that. And then I just did some other work. Now, I'm just catching up on some emails because I am horrendous with emails. Like, it's literally the only thing I'm crap at. Well, actually, it's not the only thing I'm crap at. That makes me sound like, yeah, I'm awesome at everything. <laughs> um, no, it's the only thing in terms of blog that I'm crap at managing, is what I meant to say. I just hate emails. I really do hate them. Okay, I am ready. Wait, let me just put my DC down. Um, okay, so this is what I have decided to wear for today because it is warm but not really sunny today. There's like a bit of cloud but it's super, super muggy. So I have on Ray-Ban Rounds, same three huggies as I was wearing last week by Aurelia, Monica Vinada, uh, Minnie Marie on a short Misoma fine chain. Cartier watch, Monica Vinada, like friendship bracelet. This one's got like three or four discs on it. Sorry, I'm not doing a very good job of showing you that. This t-shirt is from And Other Stories. It's a little bit see-through, but I've got like a bralette on underneath. And I kind of, kind of like that. Don't know why, just do. Uh, trousers, these are from the H&M Conscious Collection. Um, so there's no polyester here. Simon Miller bonsai bag in the black new book, which matches my dear Francis bridge slides because they are also like a black suede new bucky type thing. So yes, some neutrals and some black. And that is what I'm wearing for today's lunch, which actually is with uh, the brand Monica Venada or Venada. I'm going to ask them actually how it is officially pronounced because I think I often hear lots of people saying both options. Probably depends on where you're from regionally. Um, potato, potato and all that. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for lunch with MV and we're going to Dalloway Terrace. Very excited, never been there before. Can't wait to see all of the flowers. I made it, I'm running late. But I'm here. Let's go in, shall we? Where do we go? Down? Up? Down, maybe? Oh, this looks swanky, doesn't it? No, I don't think this is where we want. But should we have a sneak peek while we're down here? Nice. 
Nice. I think we're upstairs though. Right guys, true to form, I'm having a burger. So, yeah, nothing new there. I've just got back from Central. I'm, I'm glistening. <laughs> I'm so sweaty, basically. Oh no, B, don't go away. I was just gonna show everyone. Cause I spoke to these guys from the Furbo on my way home. Bumble, literally, Boris is investigating it now. But Bumble, Bumble, where are you? He's running off now, but he was literally sat here when I came in. B, hey, what's in the Furbo? In the Furbo? Have you run out of treats in the Furbo? Yes, oh, it's sad, isn't it? What's in here, B? In the furbo. It's in the furbo. <laughs> oh, bless. Okay, I've teased them enough now because they have actually run out of treats in the furbo. I'm gonna go make them some carrot. Having some carrot? Having some carrot? Yeah, you're finishing off a piece. Someone's left carrot crummies on the carpet. On the rug. Whoa. <laughs> that was like my entire hand. Relax. Relax. Good boy, B. Bubbles. Good girl, Bean. Don't snatch again. Good boy. Where's Boris? He's eating a bit over there. How have you eaten that so quickly? That's it. It's all gone. All gone. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday. It is quarter to nine. So we've been out this morning already with dogs. Oh, that's bright. Apologies. Um, yes, walk the dogs already. It's crazy hot. I know I keep moaning about the heat, but literally at six o'clock in the morning, it's like 30 degrees. Now, I know that might not seem a lot to lots of you, especially those in Australia, LA, lots of other parts of the US, other desert type places. But for us folk in the UK, we are A, not used to this kind of heat and b we're not equipped for it so we don't have aircon in our homes it's just not something that we have we have central heating <laughs> we do not have aircon so yeah basically when we wake up at six o'clock in the morning the house has already heated up to god knows what temperature as so we go around we open all the windows up just to try and get some air through and it's just stifling, it really is. The dogs have got a water bowl in every single room of the house, just so that they stay hydrated. <sighs> anyway, moan over, it's hot, let's get on with things. Um, today, right, so I have currently got some workmen in the garden, so they're doing some studio things, which obviously I'm not gonna show you guys, because I think I mentioned in last week's vlog, that we're filming a separate video for the whole studio renovation. So I'm gonna show you guys. Sorry, that's the bin men. Like I said, all the windows are open. Um, yeah, so we're gonna show you guys that whole process in a separate video. Not sure when that will be, August potentially, maybe early August. Um, so that's what's going on there. We need to film a video today. I'm thinking potentially something like summer shoes i haven't quite decided yet um we're normally better at planning than this because this video is actually for sunday which is in two days time which literally gives once i filmed it today gives simon today to edit and tomorrow which is a bit tight but yes we can do it he is a professional um yeah that's it <laughs> that's the kind of update for today i'm gonna film the video hopefully get that done soon ish um, keep an eye on what's going on out in the garden because I'm going to have to keep nipping out there to vlog like various bits and pieces. Um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's about it really. So, fun times. Simon's just gone upstairs with a KFC bag because he's just been out to the bank. Did you genuinely not get me one? No, I texted you. You didn't, you didn't text me. Show me the bag because I don't believe you. Double down. Only going to get 20 in before it's gone. So I want mine. You should have texted me instead. I'm going to be absolutely livid if this isn't a joke. It's not a joke. No way, Jose. Where's the bag? You've hidden the bag. <laughs> Jokes. Give me that. Greetings everyone. It is now four o'clock. 
and I am really excited because something fun has just arrived. So basically because the weather has just been crazy, crazy hot, the dogs, they're struggling a bit. I mean, I'm struggling and they're covered in fur, so they must definitely be struggling, even though they're Mexican. Um, so yeah, well, they're not Mexican, but you know what I mean? Um, so I decided to take to Amazon and I bought them a paddling pool. <laughs> I think this is also for my own enjoyment as well as theirs. So I'm gonna go blow it up and set it up for them now and see if they'll actually go in it. They really, really dislike water, but they need to have some way of cooling down. Um, and the Dogs Trust recommend paddling pools. So let's give it a go. <laughs> This looks fun, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, is that not just the cutest thing you've ever seen? Look how small it is. Right, I'm going to put a little bit of water in there. I'm not going to put much in because they don't really like. But, oh. <laughs> they don't really like water, so I'm just going to put a bit in there. Right, there's literally like an inch worth of water in there, so not very much at all. Who wants to go in the paddling pool? What about one of you two sunbathers? Do you want to go in the paddling pool? Come on then, come and see. Look at this. Come on. Look at this. In you get, Boris. In you get. Look at this. Yeah. Woohoo. It's like a big water bowl. Come and get in. Test subject. Whee. Just put you in the shallow end. Oh, yeah. Have a drink. Yeah. Hello, everyone. It is now Sunday. The weekend has flown by and it has been full of England excitement. Ooh and also manual labour. More so for Simon rather than myself. Although I have cleaned the en entire house today, top to bottom, and there are a lot of levels in this house. So yeah, I'm knackered. Um, I also helped Simon today do a bit on the studio. So I got super dusty and all loads of crap, which is why I'm sat with my towel on my head after having a lovely fresh shower and in my dressing gown at 5 p.m. on a Sunday. Uh, early wind down time, let's say that. Now I'm gonna sign off this week's vlog here, but I will tell you that next week's vlog, we will have a special guest. I'm sure some of you might know who that is and you've been requesting this special guest to make a reappearance. So she will be appearing in the next week's vlog. So I hope you're looking forward to that. And yeah, that's it from me for this week. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you on Thursday. Bye. Don't have anything like this. And then they go. Oh. They'll just go all floppy again. Raw bars. Et voila. <laughs>